All right, so I've got everything laid out here and I've run into a bit of a dilemma. I really wanted to make this a no weld project, but after looking at it, I'm going to have to drill two holes in each piece of angle iron and then two holes on each side of the square tubing. And this is some really thick metal. This is quarter inch and this is, I believe, 11 gauge. And I've got better things to do than just stand here at the drill press for about two, two hours maybe drilling holes in steel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with plan B. I'm gonna get the welder out. I'm just gonna weld this up. Now, if you did want to make this a no weld project, you can do that. Like I said, you would just have to drill two holes on each side of each piece of angle iron and on each side of the square tubing and bolt it down really tight and it will work really well. But like I said, for time constraints, I am going to weld this one up. Okay, so I just realized that I got ahead of myself and I should not have welded this plate onto this assembly. And that is because I need to put this bottle jack on here and I need to drill some holes so that I can attach it to the plate. And I also need to drill a hole so I can attach this little push rod underneath the plate. Now, I, I know I can do this. It's not gonna be impossible. It's just gonna be a little bit harder to have to deal with this whole assembly. It would have been a whole lot easier just to put this plate on the drill press, but I know I can make it work.
Okay, so right now I've got the machine all set up and it is tack welded. I have not done the final welding. That's because my MIG welder over there has run out of gas and I can't get any more until tomorrow. So I can't really put any pressure on the system, but it is all working. If you start to move the jack here, it will go down and it moves rather smoothly. And in case you're wondering, these springs, these are springs from an old trampoline and I got a box of them at a yard sale or flea market. I can't remember which one, but I think I paid a buck for the whole box. And this is the second project that I've used that on. So everything is tack welded. I can't really put any pressure on it. If you release the pressure on the bottle jack, the springs will pull everything back up to the top like what you would expect. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do the final welding. I'll put the paint job on it and then I will come back and that's going to take me about another day. But for you guys, it's only going to be a few seconds. All right, so here it is all painted and assembled. Only a couple of seconds for you guys, but two days for me. But I think it did turn out nice. And I know some of you guys are going to be asking, why did I bolt these legs on instead of welding it like I did everything else? And there's a good reason for that. And that's because I wanted to be able to remove the legs and then fold everything flat and store it up against the wall or in the corner or flat on a shelf. And the, and the reason for that is I only have a use for a tool like this maybe a couple of times a year. And I didn't want to have it out on my bench, taking up valuable bench space like the belt grinder or the lathe that's behind me because I use those a lot, but this doesn't get used a lot. So I really didn't want it taking up a lot of bench space. And that is why I made the legs removable. So now that I've got it all painted and finished and assembled, let's put it to use. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.